Welcome to the Windows and Computer channel, and uh, we just want to talk about a little something, which is an interesting um, aspect of Windows. The um, Windows team, according to a report from Brad Sams, that does the Sams report, he uh, heard that, um, according to his sources, the Windows team is going to be reshuffled in, um, after Redstone 5 is released. So Redstone 5 is what we're going to have in a, a few weeks' time. And um, within the next month, uh, Redstone 5, also what's now called the October 2018 update, is going to be released. And it's going to be interesting. We now, we, you know, we already know that Windows team is now under a different team than it was before. They already had changed some of the, you know, the the Windows teams um, that or the people that are actually controlling the Windows uh, division at Microsoft, and of course it came with some changes in the naming, for example, which is more interesting than you know creators updates or whatever that they had before. Um, it also is interesting because we're going to see what impact it has. We know that the Windows team will be a little smaller, apparently, and this is actually absolutely normal. Don't be afraid that Windows is disappearing. It's not the case. It's just that Windows is now taking less place within Microsoft than it used to. You know, in 1995, when Windows 95 was released, Windows was the product with Office. They were the two flagship products that were racking in 99% of all the cash. In 2018, Windows is a very small chunk. It's still a big chunk. It's still a lot of billions, but it is a small chunk. What's really, really, you know, making Microsoft go ahead full speed is cloud. And, of course, there's a lot of other uh, other things around it, but, you know, everything else, when you remove cloud, you remove Office. You don't have much left at Microsoft. And Windows, even though it's still big, it's it's still much smaller than it used to be. That change of command, I, you know, one of the things I was wondering if is that change of command will change something with the Insider program and who are on the Insider, um, you know, uh, like Donna Sokar and all of that. We know that some people will be moved to other divisions. We know there will be a smaller team for Windows 10. Um, I think looking forward, Windows will be changing. One of the things that right now is happening is that we see, you know, we've seen with Windows 10's uh, April 2018 update, there's a little bit of problems. And I think that the new division, the new place where Windows and the Windows team is right now, they don't want to have that. That's something they want to be part of the past. They want to have Windows 10 to be more reliable in the future. I tend to think that we'll have less new features and more... Um, quality improvements maybe we could call it because that's where all of this is heading um, you know on the skip ahead we don't see sets coming back yet we're even wondering if sets is ever going to come back we're, we're starting to wonder what's happening with it because we don't hear anything about it um, of course that's kind of interesting to see what will there be and what will happen um, in the future with that what's the impact of the reshuffle of the Windows 10 team. You know, when you change people, when you change the ones that control, when you change all of of, of, of the system and you, you're running under a different division, usually it also means that the product and the service related to this will change with time. Um, that's going to be interesting to look at. And it's going to be interesting to particularly see as we now get the October 2018 update in a few weeks what impact it will have on 19H1, that future update that will be in 2019, sometime in March. Could that change the upgrade pace of Windows 10? That's another good question. We know that even though Microsoft for a long time been pushing two updates a year, a lot of people are complaining of these two updates a year. It's too many updates. Um, could that change and maybe return back to a one year update? We don't know. There's a lot of unknowns in how Windows is going right now. But one thing for sure is that things will change and things will be different. And in six months or a year from now, you know, maybe in September 2019, I'll be doing a video of 
all the changes and all the things that um, and, and we'll do wow so many changes one thing for sure Windows 10 is still there to stay it's still there to continue in the ninth in the next few years but um, it will be different and I think it's the start of what we are going to see happening right now uh, and happening after Redstone 5 is released if you enjoy our videos please subscribe give us thumbs up thank you for watching